Hello everybody, let's talk about Google Cloud Platform. Today I'm going to share a project with um, Spanner. And uh, I'm going to connect outside the cloud with the um, Spring, Boot, Spring Boot application. So first thing I'm going to share is my Spring Boot application. Okay, so in this case here I have the Palm, it's the impor important. Shows the configuration itself. Okay, now I have the palm. What I'm using, okay, Spring Boot, the latest version. Okay, uh, Spanner Starter, Web Starter, a Data Rest, Hedos, Swagger, also for Data Rest, Longbook. Okay, this is the palm basically. Here I have my Docker, if you want to containerize your application, okay. Here you're gonna go to resource, gonna share the application, the key JSON. This key JSON was generated from, I'm gonna share it to you. Okay, here we have the structure, which I have Spring, Cloud, GCP, Credentials and Spanner, Instant CD and Database name. I'm gonna share all those things, I have the key JSON file here, I have the project TD, okay. Code, let's share the entity, the driver and a repository. Repository is, looks, apparently looks like a JPI repository. Here is the REST, data REST, and here it is in the spanner repository. You have to stand and put your entity, which they're gonna show you guys right now. Trader entity is my entity table. Apparently looks like very similar to JPI, if you're familiar with that, all those columns, whatever. Here I have my template, which I share. I show the thing here using the spanner schema, which is going to create a table that doesn't exist. Actually, I'm already running the project, so I can share it much, much faster than create all those things. So they will take 10 minutes, whatever. Here we go. This is the application. So this is the... You can see it localhost and um, Spring Boot application. This is the data rest. So we have all those these APIs here already defined for you, except these ones that I created. This one's in blue on the bottom. And this other entity here, I'm inserting a couple of values. So right now, I, I don't care, care about logging. Sig driver logging. Goodbye. So let's go to Spanner. What have I done before? I created the uh, the instance and the database. This is the instance. If you create an instance, it's going to be similar, which I show it here too. Sorry, it's my resource. You have the scheme, the instance ID, and the database. Great. So I create this instance and the database. In this case, I have here traders and trades. So let's go to this and let's query. So what we have right now, let's query, simple query. Okay, let's insert my values. Also, trades to the traders and trades. Okay, let's insert some data. You're gonna double check there. So we're going here, or I can I call it action shares. We're gonna call it um, petroil. Try out before. Petroil. Let's change the values. Let's put the states, USA, whatever, marketing, trade, trader ED. Let's change this to two. This one. Okay, trader ED, whatever. And also let's insert the other. Try out. Call it James Medic. Let's change the last. Okay. Let's put some other values. Three. Four. Let's insert three and four. Whatever. Let's query. Yeah, here you have all those values. 
This is trades. Let's go to traders. Query. Yeah, all those are just insert right now. We have the ID. These tips I didn't care about. So that's how simple it is to work with Spring Boot application and the spanner. This is a horizontal scalability for SQL solutions. You can create a table from here. You can create a table. Pretty simple. You define the name. All those columns that put here, right? Let's say. Uh, oh, mega. Girl. Can add a count and define all those stuff here. In this case, I didn't create a table with the uh, clicking over that. I just, uh, as I mentioned it, I use the um, spanner operations, which are under this package. So using the template, okay. I check if the table exists. If it doesn't exist, I execute and create my table. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I think you also the a nice thing here is to use a profile. Or or even here or here. Wait. Mm, configuration. Auto configuration. You be careful. Okay, you have to use these annotations here. This too is very important. Okay, also the entity scan, there's scanning there. How we're scanning, but it's a particular repository. So in this case here, you can define a profile here. And there I'm creating the tables is my spanner template. How I call it it. So great, pretty simple, easy, and uh, very nice stuff. If you want to work, work, work with horizontal scalability with a SQL, Spanner is your solution, otherwise you go to SQL. Yeah, it depends how big your application is. The spanner is big is done for a big thing. Okay, thanks for watching. Put some comments on if you have any doubt, please just tell me. I'm gonna publish also the repository. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.